By the way, if you're a Long Island, if you're a Long Island head, which some of the people listening to the show are, you got to watch the show called, uh, I forget what it's called. It's called Pol- Unpolished. And it's about this family of people that do nails in Long Island called the Martones. And it's like, it's like a, first of all, can, can we say this? So many women in Long Island that are like very Italian are almost trans. Like, and I don't say that in a negative way and I'm not trying to insult anyone. But I I will say that I am open more to these fluid gender arguments when I see like Long Island Italian women that are like, hey, 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 my name is, my name is Bria Lexi. And I'm like, you know, maybe we don't have it all down here. Maybe it's not as simple as just men and women when you see Long Island Italian women. There they, they, is a, a real masculine energy to these broads. It's interesting. And uh, they have this new show about the salon they have in East, East Northport where they do like extreme nails. You know, one of the, one woman comes in and she goes, hi, I'm going to a thing, a songwriter conference, you know. By the way, people in Long Island should be legally prohibited from ever entering the arts. Um, so this woman comes in and she goes, I'm going to a singer songwriter conference. I need my nails to play music because I want something to differentiate me from everyone else at the conference. And at that point, I would have said like, hey, what about your talent? <laughs> but she's smart enough to realize she needs something else. So she has this woman who runs this salon go find a way to put one of her songs, which is horrific if you watch the episode put one of her songs in her fingernail so that when she, they, they make her fingernail into a boom box. So when she taps the boom box, the song keeps, starts playing. Can you imagine being at whatever bullshit music convention this was? And you have this long Island goon walking around going, look at my nail, look at my nail. It's a boom box. It plays my song. And then she just starts tapping her boom box nail and the song starts playing. And the song is so bad, but it's a, fa- the, it, it, the show is sometimes I, I miss long Island and the show's like a fascinating glimpse into what Long Island is. She's like, my father's like Tony Soprano. They even breathe the same. And her father's a big guy. And her father's like, <sighs> and I'm like, well, he's dead. The guy that you're comparing him to is, you know, um, the grandma works with them. Um, you know, it's, I'm not shitting on them because I, I respect everybody's hustle, especially on the island, Long Island strong. You do what you need to do. Ladies. But I'm saying what's very interesting about all the gender discussion is when we we have these discussions about transgender people, we don't include Long Island Italian women who seem to be on a spectrum. To be honest, many of them, not all of them, but a lot of them seem to be on a spectrum. It's an interesting discussion to have clinically. Let's be honest. You know, dark black hair, broad shoulders, big, deep voices. Something's up. It's an interesting case study. That's my only point. You watch them. You're like, this is interesting. You know, she dates a guy from a pizzeria. And he comes over to the house and uh, she's like, what is my father wants to know what you want for breakfast? He goes, I don't want to eat no breakfast. She goes, my father won't take that. Is there? And he goes, I don't got bacon and cheese. She goes, all right. She goes, when I was younger, I was heavy and fat, and I never left my room, and I learned how to do nails. Then I got a gastric sleeve, and now I feel better, and now I am. And she is, she's impressive. The nail art is very impressive. And then, so they run the salon together. Salon Martone. They're interesting. It's an interesting show. You get a little Long Island. You want a little Long Island? You, you, that's what you get. But it's very interesting, the gender dynamics that, you know, that are out there. You still, a lot of these Italian women, a lot of them is very, the voices are very, they're very like, hey, hey, Angela, you are going to go. It's like no one would be shocked if they had dicks. Like nobody would be shocked if you pulled down their pants, it was a big hog. Like a big hog. Not even like a small tranny dick that they made. Like a big hog. And you go, Yeah. Yeah, this makes perfect sense because there's just some 
very interesting. In the same way that like Irish, certain Irish women, when they get older, become, they look like men. They look like Irish men. Like they have short hair and they just look like men. But that takes a while to the age. The Italian women, like the younger they are, the more, like the masculine energy is peak in their like 20s and 30s. Some of them soften as they get older. And then they just look goth. They have like a weird goth energy because they get older and they're just, everything's black and dark. But like around their 20s and 30s, they're like peak like, hey, hey, are you done? My name is Angela. I dated my, I dated Vito, you know, Vito. And I'm, I'm like, what is, what's going on here? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe all these radical gender theorists are right. And all it took me was a Long Island Italian woman to realize that gender might be a construct. This is a dude. We just, <laughs> we just said you should wear a dress. But to be honest with you, I don't know. After watching Salon Martone, I don't know. I mean, these broads are fucking. And I respect them. That's the other thing. I'm not hating on them. I'm sure they're women. I'm not saying they're not women. But they have an energy of a dude. I don't give a fuck about nothing. I'll fuck about It's an energy of a dude. And you go like, this is interesting. Maybe there is some something to be said for gender fluidity. I don't know. You know, if you if you need, go get a potato and put a Marlboro Light in his mouth and watch that, and then press play on your phone. 